Woman of sorrow. <laughs> Woman of sorrow. <laughs> Woman of sorrow. <laughs> I tried to be more than what he thought of me. Ecstasy I popped to ease the pain from me. I was only 17. The mind manipulation had me beat as he squashed the life from me. His cunning intellectual charm had me in the streets as he sold me dreams and fed me low self-esteem. His silk-like words persuaded me as I seductively walked until my heels broke and my toes bleed. Can I tell you my story? Can I share my testimony? As I walk down these lonely streets, highways and byways, crying out on the inside of me, would somebody please help me, save me? The glamorous things is what I've seen. I envisioned a perfect life, a family, detached from myself or who I thought I should be. The she I was was no longer me. I couldn't recognize myself, so I created an alter ego, an ego that altered my personality. And would she ever be really a necessity, something that somebody always needs, something they couldn't do without someone's desired need? Undetected by my immediate family, I was captured by the demonic reality that hunts for lost souls, enters in at the point of seduction and deception. He's after every desire that you own, perverts it into his own. I was lost at the point of no return. I was so far gone. I couldn't see. I had a price tag hanging off the side of me. Can I tell you my story? Can I share my testimony? Looking for love in all the wrong places. Lost little girl with daddy issues. Trying to find that security and in insecurity. Listening to every lie that the enemy has put down on the inside. Caressing me softly. Telling me everything that I want to hear. Going off all my dreams and all my fears. Going off my rejects and all my neglects. What I had was a sold out dream. I didn't realize I had become who he wanted me to be. Praying to demonic go-getting goddess that brought me money. I couldn't find my reality, so I came up with the personality. They called her name Necessity. Necessity. She fulfilled their every fantasy. Fantasy. All I longed for was my daddy. I hated what has become of me. I had this dire need to kill a certain part of me. Self-mutilation became a part of me. I tried to fight. I couldn't leave. Everywhere I went, I, he just kept finding me. When I got caught, got locked in a trunk till I couldn't breathe. <gasps> Can I tell you my story? Can I share my testimony? I finally decided that I had to drop down to my knees. I had to call up on the name. Jesus. 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 He saves. He provided a way of an escape. A ram in the bush. I begot my first son. Angel. Set free. Finally found someone that loved me for me. Not because of the size of my physique or how much money I can cash in benefits that he could reap he read my heart love unconditionally the lord delivered me from the snare of the enemy i was no longer entangled with the yokes of bondage he gave me a reason to believe again i received a reason to breathe again i was no longer trapped underwater i was submerged underwater new life began i had a life that grew on the inside a reason to live again no longer trapped with the yokes of bondage i'm free who the sun set free is truly free indeed i was a woman of sorrow but now i have tears of joy god delivered me from the hands of the enemy my, my baby boy was born into this world in a form of a blessing. If God did it for me, he could do it for you.
Greater is he that is within me than he that's in the world. You go for it, baby girl. Don't let your past dictate your future. Don't let nobody tell you that you can't be greater than the mistakes that you've made. You are not your mistakes. That created a character within you. A character that says that you can be greater than all that you've been through. You don't have to stay where they found you. Just remember that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Just remember you've always got to fight. If you stay on your knees, you may not stumble. Now I've told my story. Now you can share yours too. And just remember that God, he loves you. He cares for you. I just want to thank everyone for tuning in to As One Media. I hope you enjoyed my transparency in my message today. I just pray that you guys glow through your life beautifully with inner healing that brings about an outer beauty. Well, others will want to know where you got your glow. Finding your glow just might take faith and glory to push through. I just want to shed some light on domestic violence today because human trafficking is real and it's still going on right now. So if you know anybody that's still stuck in darkness, don't hesitate to guide them towards the light. 